Of course, Burdock is also at NEV this year and they have some new products. And with me is CJ and he's going to say something about these products. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Petra. Yeah, so I'm CJ with Bird Dog. Uh, we are here at NAB showing off our new camera line. So we're really excited about it. We are basically relaunching from the ground up in terms of our cameras. And this right here is our new X1 camera. So we're really excited about this and showing everyone getting the first look at the X1. This is now our starting line entry level camera into the NDI, PTZ, all that goodness world. And this thing is a 1080 60 model with a 20X zoom. We're still using Sony sensors, which is great. So you can be uh, rest assured that the image is very crisp. Um, on this, we've also done the Wi Fi treatment. So on the back, you can choose if you want to do your Ethernet port um, or your Wi Fi connection. You'll also see an HDMI connected to it, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but you can do a couple of cool things with that feature as well. Um, you can also do the traditional DC barrel and or, you know, the POE one cable solution that everyone loves. So we're really excited about this. And the other thing that we also did to reduce some power consumption is we've added an e-ink screen on the camera. So this is kind of a, uh, a leap we took, but we're really excited about the feedback we've gotten. And you can basically out of the box, have your QR code to scan onto the camera. And as long as your phone is on the same network, you can pop that camera right up and control it on the web UI. So that is, comes default out of the box. And uh, if you want, we'll also be doing it to where you can customize that e-ink a uh, little bit as well. Does it it's, change this as well, the X? So we, we do have, yeah, so on the silicon caps, we can change those. So in the box, you'll get X, one, two, three. So if you have a multi-cam production, you can label those. Um, the tally light as well, if you notice, this is not your traditional tally color, but this is basically the video mode if you are not connected to a production switcher. So it's a nice, uh, you know, cool uh, white color, and I, I think it looks awesome. But you can also do the traditional red-green as well if you connect to something like vMix or a TriCaster. Um, so you got that full tally on the front and back. And one of the other advantages also of the e-ink screen, just before moving on, is when you unplug it, that image will stay there. So if, if for some reason you're transporting it and you forget what the IP was or is, it'll still be there when you uh, unpower it. Cool. What's this? So I think this is my, fav my personal favorite feature as the, uh, one of the converter guys. This feed that you're seeing here on the Lilliput screen is actually being supplied by the X1 camera. So for 995, this HDMI cord from the back of the X1 is actually feeding right into this monitor. And if you notice that feed on the video screen is not the camera image. You could always do that if you want, but in the X1 and the X1 Ultra, you can actually choose if it's doing just a loop through or it is now an HX decoder built right into the camera head. That's so awesome. super excited about this one and pairing it with our HX encoders you know, you can basically just have any HX stream, you can use NDI bridge and then pop that right on the, the screen. It's a 1080, uh, picture, uh, 1080 uh, one you said, uh, yep. until what, 60 frames? Yeah, so 1080, 60, so the decoder will do the, up to the same, so they're kind of matched, so you can decode up to 1080, 60, and then encode your camera 1080, 60. Awesome. So that's kind of our new uh, base entry level camera for 995. Uh, so we think that packs a punch. So for those, you know, product uh, projects that have teleprompters or confidence monitors, think of it like that. You can basically just slap it right up on the top of the camera. And now you are truly doing some, you know, one cable runs for your video and your monitoring. Um, so that's kind of the X1. We also have the X1 Ultra. If you are looking for that 4K bump, uh, this one is similar, same housing, but the image sensor is the main difference. So you'll get up to 4K 30p on this guy. Um, and it gives you the same feature set as the X1, but just at that 4K bump in terms of your, your spec you're trying to hit. This is 12 times zoom and that one is 20? Yeah, that's correct. So 12 times uh, optical zoom on the, the UHD camera and then 20x optical zoom on the uh, uh, 1080p camera. Yeah. Awesome. So same thing, you still get that decoder feature, um, all, all the other goodness we talked about and in a 4K package. So, and the last one we'll talk about here is the Maki, which we're really excited about this guy. This is essentially the PF120 successor. 
and we you know we had really good uh positive feedback on the pf120 and we wanted to essentially make it better in every way and that's kind of what we did so on the maki here it's essentially a spec revamp so you'll have either a 20x flavor or a big thing uh, a 12x flavor and yeah and the reason we did that is so it, 12x has a wider field of view yeah so for people that want to put it in like conference rooms or you know tighter tighter areas you can get a wider field of view with that um on the back and we'll rotate it here so you can see a little bit better on the back you still have your poe um and then the big thing that we added was an sdi connection yes so let's talk about sdi why does do you have hdmi ca ptz cameras anymore? so yeah sdi is fun it, it's a great idea for ptz cameras uh we'll definitely uh we should definitely look at that uh okay. you know wink wink hint hint but you know Right now, we've revamped and started, and HDMI and NDI is kind of the starting point. And I think, you know, what I can say is just we're going up from there. Uh, on the Maki, -E, you'll get a 3G SDI port, so you can get up to 108060 on that. And then PoE and HDMI, you'll get uh, 4K60. Awesome. So for $1,300, you're going to get 4K60 out of this. Uh, all these cameras that we've talked about are NDI HX3, um, which gives us the ability once again to do it over Wi-Fi. So that's one of the reasons we chose that protocol. Um, and as you know, Bird Dog still were full NDI and HX, and now we're kind of embracing both. So as we continue to talk to people, it's it's nice to be able to dabble into both worlds of HX and full NDI. Are there other, any other stuff that might be of interest? So we, on the booth, we have all of our softwares, um, which we're continuing to develop on cloud. Cloud, we just ended, uh, introduced at 10.1 which has, uh, we've introduced Avid plugin. So not just Adobe Premiere, but you can do Avid. And we've also done a router feature. So if you've used, you know, NDI router or central, we have basically added to where in cloud on your remote side, you can kind of pick through on a matrix, okay. have your different sources and choose where in your network or on different networks. That's the key part, right? So you can choose on the remote receiving side where that NDI feed is going. Um, those are all free features in our cloud platform. So, you know, on birddog.tv, we have our pricing and you can do a free demo uh, with a watermark. So you can actually do it kind of a full-fledged trial to make sure it's going to work because there's a lot of cool tools inside cloud. We also have some video series on our YouTube page at BirdDog uh, that explains cloud, how to get started. Um, so if you're interested in any of that, trying to take NDI across the network uh, over the internet, check out cloud because it packs a ton of features. You're you're the you're the, the, the converter guy. Yeah, I said I'm. Yeah, I'm the converter guy. So I'm the, that you're really excited about. Yeah. So on the convert, this is obviously the you know we've seen the X1, the Maki. -E, this is the the camera show. Yeah. Converters. We are working hard behind the scenes to make them better. We have some updates that will be will be coming. Uh, nothing confirmed yet, but the one thing we did announce and we are shipping uh, at the end of the month is our dual channel upgrade. So so on our 4K SDI and 4K HDMI box which people know is a one channel box with a loop out and all that. You can now take those two standard operation modes and now we have four. So you can do double decode or double encode. And that's just gonna be a free web UI update. No USB sticks. Once you're on the NDI5 platform, you can just do a web UI update and you're good to go. So I'm, that's what I'm excited about, but we have a lot more coming in terms of the converter uh, line for features, um, as well as you know maybe new products coming. So. A lot happening right now behind the scenes, which we're really excited about. But this is, you know, what is shipping in April, what we can show, what's working on the stand. So just really pumped at, uh, at Bird Dog at this uh, new offering.